The Smith & Wesson Model 3 was a single-action, cartridge-firing, top-brake revolver produced by Smith & Wesson from circa 1870 to 1915, and was recently again offered as a reproduction by Smith & Wesson and Uberty. It was produced in several variations and sub-variations, including both the Russian model, so named because it was supplied to the military of the Russian Empire, 41,000 No. 3s were ordered in .44 caliber by the Imperial Russian Army in 1871, and the Schofield model, named after Major George W. Schofield, who made his own modifications to the Model 3 to meet his perceptions of the cavalry's needs. Smith & Wesson incorporated these modifications into an 1875 design they named after the Major, planning to obtain significant military contracts for the new revolver. The SNW Model 3 was originally chambered for the .44 SNW American and .44 Russian cartridges, and typically did not have the cartridge information stamped on the gun, as is standard practice for most commercial firearms. Model 3 revolvers were later produced in an assortment of calibers, including .44 Henry Rimfire, .44-40, and .45 Schofield. The design would influence the smaller SNW .38 single action that is retroactively referred to as the Model 2. Russian Model Smith & Wesson produced large numbers of the Model 3, in three distinct models, for the Russian Empire by special order. The first was the first model Russian, the original order design, with the Russian Ordnance Inspector mandating a number of improvements to the design, resulting in the second model Russian, with the final revision to the Russian design being known as the third model Russian. Smith and Wesson nearly went bankrupt as a result of their Russian contract production, as the imperial government assigned a number of engineers and gunsmiths to reverse engineer the Smith and Wesson design and then began to produce copies of the revolver both in their own arsenal at Tula and by contracting other manufacturers in Germany and elsewhere in Europe to manufacture copies of the revolver, a common practice at the time Webley and Scott's British Bulldog revolver was widely copied, too, by European and American gunsmiths. The Russian and European copies of the SNW Model 3 revolver were generally of very high quality, but considerably cheaper than the SNW produced revolvers. This led to the imperial government cancelling the order for significant quantities of Smith & Wesson made revolvers, which Smith & Wesson had already produced, and delaying, or refusing, payment for the handguns that had already been delivered. Schofield Revolver The U.S. Army adopted the .44 SNW American caliber Smith & Wesson Model 3 revolver in 1870, making the Model 3 revolver the first standard-issue cartridge-firing revolver in U.S. service. Most military pistols until that point were black powder cap and ball revolvers, which were, by comparison, slow, complicated, and susceptible to the effects of wet weather. In 1875, the U.S. Ordnance Board granted Smith & Wesson a contract to outfit the military with Model 3 revolvers incorporating the design improvements of Major George W. Schofield, known as the Schofield Revolver, providing that they could make the revolvers fire the .45 Colt, a.k.a. .45 Long Colt, ammunition already in use by the U.S. military. Smith & Wesson instead developed their own, slightly shorter .45 caliber round, the .45 Schofield, otherwise known as the .45 SNW. When it became obvious in the field that the two cartridges would not work interchangeably in the Schofield, although they both worked in the Colt, the U.S. government adopted the shorter .45 Schofield cartridge as the standard cartridge. Despite the change, old stocks of the longer .45 Colt rounds in the supply line caused the Army to drop most of the Schofields and continue with the Colt. Major Schofield had patented his locking system and earned a payment on each gun that Smith & Wesson sold, and at the time his older brother, John M. Schofield, was the head of the Army Ordnance Board and the political situation may have been the main issue for the early end of Army sales. Many of the SNW Model 3 Schofield revolvers saw service in the Indian Wars, and there are reports of them in use as late as the Spanish-American War and Philippine-American War. Like the other Smith & Wesson Model 3s, 
they were also reportedly popular with lawmen and outlaws in the American West, and were reportedly used by Jesse James, Bob Ford, who used one to kill James, John Wesley Harden, Pat Garrett, Theodore Roosevelt, Virgil Earp, Billy the Kid, and many others. While the standard barrel length was seven, many Schofields were purchased as surplus by distributors, and had the barrels shortened to five, and were refinished in nickel. After the Spanish-American War of 1898, the U.S. Army sold off all their surplus Schofield revolvers. The surplus Schofield revolvers were reconditioned by wholesalers and gunsmiths, at professional factory quality level, with a considerable number offered for sale on the commercial market with a 5-inch barrel as well as the standard size barrel of 7 inches. Of the most notable purchasers of these reconditioned Model 3 Schofield revolvers was Wells Fargo and Company, who purchased the revolvers for use by Wells Fargo road agents and had the barrels shortened to a more concealable 5 inches length. These revolvers were then inspected by the Wells Fargo Armorer and uniquely stamped WFNCO or Wells Fargo NCO, along with the original Smith & Wesson serial number restamped alongside the Wells Fargo stamping on the flat part of the barrel just forward of the barrel pivot as well as restamping any part of each revolver which had not originally been stamped or stamped in a location that would be difficult to view the serial number, when needed. The Wells Fargo Schofield revolvers became so popular with collectors from the 1970s onwards that the unique Wells Fargo markings were being counterfeited or faked by unscrupulous sellers to enhance the value of other similar versions that had not been genuinely owned by Wells Fargo and CO. There are more fake Wells Fargo marked Schofield revolvers than genuine ones in existence and, accordingly, a collector interested in purchasing a Wells Fargo Schofield revolver would be well advised to have a pre-purchase inspection and verification performed by an expert who specializes in this model. Lt. Col. Schofield shot himself on December 17, 1882, with the SNW Schofield revolver after suffering a bout of mental illness, stress, and isolation. Versions The Schofield was produced in various versions. First Model Schofield the first model Schofield has a latch configuration that is rather pointed at the top and has a circle around the screw head at the bottom. Second model Schofield The second model latch has a large raised circle at the top of the latch. One of General Schofield's revisions and improvements to the predecessor Model 3 revolvers included mounting the spring-loaded barrel catch on the frame as opposed to the standard Smith & Wesson Model 3 which has the latch mounted on the barrel. In the previous engineering, the posts of the frame would wear out after heavy usage. Schofield's improvement called for heat-treated, replaceable components at this sensitive wear area of the catch and latch. Serial Numbers The serial number range also will give an indication of whether it is first or second model, with the serial numbers changing from the first model to the second model at a little over 3,000. New Model Number 3 In 1877, SNW discontinued production of its other Model 3s such as the American, Russian, and Schofield in favor a new improved design called the new Model No. 3. Standard chambering was .44 Russian, although other calibers were offered on special order or in related models such as the .44 to 40 Frontier model, the .32 to 44 and .38 to 44 Target models, and the very rare .38 to 40 Winchester model. Australian Model In 1880 the South Australia Police, who were then interested in rearming with up-to-date weapons, noted a display of new Model No. 3 revolvers at the Australian Exposition in Melbourne. At the direction of Police Commissioner Peters Wald an order was placed through SNWS New York agent for 250 nickel revolvers in .44 Russian with a 7-inch barrel length. The order which included extension shoulder stocks, ammunition, and reloading kits, arrived at Adelaide in March 1882. The revolvers and stocks were thereupon marked with a government broad arrow punch mark, and were called revolver carbines. They were issued to mounted police, known as troopers, who at that period also policed the Northern Territory. Both the South Australia and Western Australia police made further small purchases during 1886-88, none of which was marked with the broad arrow. 
For some 30 years the revolver carbine was the front-line weapon of the mounted police of SA, WA, and NT nearly all serial numbers are known, and are listed in the book service arms of the South Australian Police. The SA revolvers were sold as surplus in 1953 to the Western Arms Corporation of Los Angeles. An engraved, gold-plated new model number no. 3 with pearl grips was presented to sharpshooter Annie Oakley in the 1890s by her husband Frank Butler. The revolver was one of three embellished guns that were cased for Oakley as a presentation group. Copies The popular Model 3 was copied in many countries. Most common were the versions made in Spain, Mexico, and Belgium, but companies such as Ludwig Lowy and Company of Germany and the Tula Arsenal in Russia played a hand in the counterfeit game, too. Copies have been found in Turkey and Pakistan as well, made by local manufacturers. 11mm Orbi Hermanos YCIA M1884 Sistema ONA, SNW Model 7 In 1884 the Spanish government made a decree stating that any invention not copyrighted by their copyright office was not under their protection. One victim of this was Smith & Wesson, whose lucrative contract to produce Model 3 revolvers for the Spanish army was quickly cancelled. Its work given to local gunsmiths in Ibar by different firms without any standardization of parts. The Orbi Hermanos Modelo 1884 Sistema Ona, Bascona Good, or SNW Model 7 revolver was made from 1884 until the 1920s. It is notable for its grip medallion, which is an O interlaced like the Smith & Wesson SNW. An interesting footnote is that Smith & Wesson immediately copyrighted all of their other designs in Spain from then on. That is why their firearms have marca registrada and the date of the Spanish patent on their barrels. Leech copies There were a number of unauthorized Belgian copies made in 44 Russian and 44 to 40 Winchester as single and double action. These copies, mostly manufactured in Leech were marked as if to deceive a buyer into thinking that they were a revolver produced by Smith & Wesson. Many of the finer details such as the location of the Smith & Wesson factory were incorrectly stamped on the revolvers, New York and VK being the two most common. Smith & Wesson brought lawsuits against two gunmakers in Leech, which they originally lost, but won on appeal. Users Italy The prime contractor for the Italian military was Orbi, which chambered their revolvers for the Italian 10.4mm cartridge. Philippines Many Spanish firearms were captured by the Liberation Army during the Revolution, among them Model 1884 revolvers. Some were brought by defectors from the Spanish military. These handguns also service, later, in the Philippine-American War. Romania Revolvers for the Romanian military were chambered for the .44 Russian cartridge, and were made by Trocala, Aranzabal YCIA. Spain Spain used these revolvers, which were chambered for the .44 Russian cartridge, during the Philippine Revolution, the Spanish-American War, the Rift War, and the Spanish Civil War. United Kingdom the M1884 was later briefly made chambered in .455 Webley for British government contracts in 1915 and 1916. It was designated by the British Army as the pistol, old pattern, due to its old design. They were dubbed Spanish Webleys by troops even though they were copies of the SNW Model 3. Orbi Hermanos YCIA, Garotti, Anachua YCIA, and Trocala. Aranzabal YCIA were contracted to make 30,000 revolvers among them. Orbi Hermanos was the major contractor and the other two were subcontractors. Rexach and Ergoit was later contracted in 1916 to make 500 pistols but all failed proofing and the lot was refused. Finish and quality control was varied throughout the run of production. The fact that they were making service pistols and revolvers for France and Italy at the same time was definitely a factor. As there was no standardization of design or parts between manufacturers, each manufacturer's model was considered a different gun altogether. The Garotti, Anachua YCIA model was designated the pistol, old pattern, number 1 MK.I, the Trocala, Aranzabal YCIA model was designated the pistol, old pattern, number 2 MK.I, 
and the Orbi Hermanos model was designated the pistol, old pattern, number 3 MK.I. The weapons were given to the Royal Ulster Constabulary after the war. The RUC later sold them off to the New South Wales Police Force, who made snub-nosed revolvers out of them and issued them as backup pistols. A cut-down snub-nosed .455 old pattern revolver was carried by one of Michael Collins' bodyguards. Modern Reproductions Modern reproductions of the Smith & Wesson Model 3 revolver are made by a number of companies, including, most notably, Smith & Wesson themselves, as well as the Italian arms makers Uberti and Army San Marco. Smith & Wesson Smith & Wesson manufactured a modern reproduction of the original Model 3 revolvers from 2000 to 2003. Despite being touted as a true reproduction, there are significant differences between the modern version and the original. Side-by-side -side comparison of an original with the pre-production gun showed that the new version is slightly more stout than the original around the barrel and top strap, though not as much as on the Navy Arms guns. Changes in the internal lock mechanism were also made. The reproduction SNW Model 3 firing pin is frame-mounted instead of being an integral part of the hammer, a modern safety feature with a transfer bar as a practical safety catch in a revolver preventing accidental discharge if dropped. There is no transfer bar on the firing pin but a blocking bar on the hammer, should it slip off the thumb when cocking the pistol. A heavier cylinder was fitted into the stronger frame. Unlike the Uberti reproductions that have a longer than original cylinder and frame the SNW was made to only accommodate the shorter original Schofield rounds. Uberti slash Army San Marco The Uberti version, imported by Navy Arms and Cimarron Firearms, has external dimensions generally similar to the original second model Schofield, but the barrel and top strap are considerably thicker, for additional strength. These replica Model 3 revolvers have lengthened cylinders to accommodate .45 Colt and .44 to 40 cartridges. Although there were some problems with the locking latch angles in early versions, these were generally corrected or the revolvers were replaced. European reproduction Model 3 revolvers have changes made to their lock work to meet import regulations. A Uberti produced reproduction was also marketed as the Beretta Laramie. Cultural Significance Clint Eastwood's 1992 film Unforgiven features a character called the Schofield Kid, James Wolvet, named after the Model 3, his weapon of choice. In the 2007 film 310 to Yuma, Charlie Prince, Ben Foster, carries two Smith & Wesson Schofield Model 3 revolvers. Cyrus Douglas, friend and companion to Mycroft Holmes carries one in the book Mycroft Holmes by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Type Service Revolver Place of Origin United States Service History In service 1870-1915 Used by United States Russian Empire Kingdom of Montenegro Argentina Empire of Japan Ottoman Empire Royal Canadian Mounted Police South Australia Police Spain Wars American Indian Wars Russo-Turkish War, 1877-78 Northwest Rebellion Spanish-American War Philippine-American War World War I, Ltd. Production History Designer Smith & Wesson Manufacturer Smith & Wesson Produced 1868-1898 Specifications Weight 1.3 kg 2.9 pounds. Length 305 mm, 12.0 in. Barrel length 165 mm, 6.5 in. Caliber 0.44 Russian, 0.44 SNW American, 0.38 SNW, 0.44 Henry, 0.44 to 40 Winchester. Action single action. Muzzle velocity 244 m per second. 800 feet slash s feed system six round cylinder sights fixed front post and rear notch please subscribe and thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>